Hey guys, welcome to my car. It's a nice sunny day today and I just got an order to crumble cookies. So we're gonna go take that right now. Hello. Hello. Two hours later. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, so I just got, I just picked up the crumble cookies order. I'm on my way to our house right now. And so I'm trying not to cover up my camera with my phone this time, uh, but I was standing there forever. It was so awkward. Yeah, this is for Diana Zimmerman. Okay, yeah, you, have to, you actually have to deliver it to her. I just completed that delivery. I actually turned my camera off because she wanted me to go to the actual unit where the lady lives. So I turned off my camera for privacy. I went up there, knocked on the door and she didn't answer. And so I called the number they gave me. It was one of those hand to customer things. So the person that answered was her, I guess, granddaughter, cause her granddaughter got the cookies for her. And then I was talking to her granddaughter, asking her if she'd mind if I just like leave it by the door. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it was okay. So I'm on the phone with her granddaughter and I'm talking and then her grandma walks up and I tell her about the cookies and everything. And then her grandma starts telling me this story about she fell and she crushed her cheekbone and whatever. And, and that was the last time she had crumble cookies. And so she like tells me this whole story and I'm just like sitting there like, okay. <laughs> but uh, she's a really sweet lady. Yep, yeah, we got 625, but it took about 30 minutes. But part of it was because she was telling me that story. Okay, so I just got an order for BJ's brew house for six dollars for five miles so i decided to take that and before i got this order i got an order to walgreens um but i'm not trying to go shopping for anything and then i got an order from uber eats for two dollars for three miles and of course it didn't show me the address i did not take that thank you so I just dropped that order off and I've made 11.50 so far and it's been like a little bit over an hour so I'm not doing good. In my defense I talked to that lady the first customer I had and then also went through Burger King and I got a drink so I've been kind of slacking but I'm sure we can pick this up. So I just got an order to Pot Belly Sandwich Shop for about nine something for five five-ish miles. I took that order and now we're about to go in and pick it up right now. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks. I just dropped that pot belly order off and it has been about an hour and 30 minutes into the dash and I've made 21.75 so far. So hopefully we get another good order soon. So I just drove over to Chipotle, 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 Chipotle. I just drove to Chip I just drove over to Chipotle to wait for some orders and I actually got um, an order for Chipotle. Uh, it's not that great. It's like $4 for three miles, but I'm already here. So I thought I'll just take it. Sorry. Really, nigga? So I just dropped that Chipotle order off, and the guy made it easy for me because he was waiting. I love when that happens. Uh, he actually, like, he messaged me in the instructions, and then I drove up, and he was just outside standing waiting for me. So that made it easy. I'm about to get a smoothie bowl and then take a break charge my gps because it has like 10 percent left and then i'm gonna come back out in like 30 minutes to an hour my total for the last two hours i've been driving has been 26 25 so that's about like 13 13 something i can't do math 13 something an hour i at least usually aim for like 15 so hopefully the dinner rush later will be better hey everybody i'm back from my break and I just got an order to McDonald's for six dollars for four miles, so I'm gonna go pick that up. Sure. Sorry. Sorry. 
Uh, I need to pick up. Uh, yeah. Uh, Uber or DoorDash? Uh, DoorDash. Like everywhere. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Five four nine five one seven. Yes. All right. Here you go. Man. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. I just got an order for Chipotle for 8.50 for 3.6 miles, so I'm going to pick that up now. Thank you. Uh, pick up an order for Ben. For Ben? Yeah. All right, it's coming up right after this order. If you want to take a seat, I'll go ahead and get it out right. for Ben? For Ben now? Yep, thank yeah, you. Nice day, man. Nice day. So this last order I dropped off was not worth it. There are so many apartments and it's like a maze. I got lost and I couldn't figure out how to get out. I'm like out of breath from walking so much. I've lived here about nine, nine, ten months now and uh, I'm still on my way around. I just got two orders from Uber Eats for, um, it's a stacked order for $18 for nine miles. So I took that one. Okay. We'll pick up for Elizabeth R. Elizabeth? Yeah. Elizabeth R. 7B. 7B? Yes. All right. Thank, thank you. You too. Pick up for Amanda. Amanda, pick up for Amanda. Have a good Thank you, Tim. Thank you. So, crazy story, you guys. My GoPro froze up. So, I picked up the last order that you just saw, and my GoPro on my chest mount to film my drop off. When I picked it up to press record. It was like stuck on like six minutes and 50 seconds or something. And I was like, oh, is it recording? But like, like the timer wouldn't move or like it was just stuck at like six, six minutes and 50 seconds. Like I pressed the record button, nothing happened. I held down the power button, nothing happened. Like it wouldn't shut off or anything. I'm not sure exactly what happened. So I just decided to call it a night. I came home, I charged it and it seems to be working fine now. Not sure. I looked it up. I think it might need some type of update. I'm not really sure if this is like a thing that happens, maybe my GoPro was on for too long. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so today I made with DoorDash $41.25 and then with Uber Eats, I made $25.86. It says I started my DoorDash or my Dash at 11, but I like actually woke up around that time and then <laughs> I just kept pausing it <laughs> until like 12.30 because I was getting ready and stuff. I didn't want to end it because then I might not, they might not have any spots available until like a lot later. So I just kept pausing it till I got ready. And I went out, dashed a couple hours or delivered food for a couple hours. And then I took about an hour break, came home, um, delivered food for another couple hours. And then that's when my GoPro froze up and I decided to call it a night. So I, in total, did food delivery for about four and a half hours. And I made a total of 67.11. If you divide that by 4.5, it equals roughly $15 an hour, which is about the norm for me in my area. So that's how much I made today. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and I will see you guys next time.